A.B. Start. Okay, now let's talk to a man who took on the cyber threat but didn't have big enough guns to fight it. That's according to him. His name is Rod Beckstrom, and he recently uh, resigned as head of the Homeland Security Department's National Cyber Security Center after serving for just one year. So you, you, you said you didn't have big enough guns there? Is that true? Well, yeah, you know, I mean, uh, it takes time to create a new startup in the federal government. And uh, we actually got the policies and authorities created, but we didn't get the financial support that we needed to really build out the organization okay. and right. get moving. Obviously, the administration is taking these threats so very seriously. As you know, the president uh, is announcing a czar there yourself. And I hear that you were, were you up for this position, just out of full disclosure? Well, you know, my name has been uh, bandied about, and I'm, I'm honored to, uh, you know, have heard that I've, my name has been on the list, but I've made it clear it's not time for me to move back to uh, Washington, D.C. right now, although I look forward to serving again someday. All right, let's get to the meat of this. I just wanted to disclose that just in case something happens here. Let's, let's get to the meat of this. So, um, you know, when it comes to, to threats like this, especially, you know, when it, a cyber terror, and even with the Internet, we're far behind um, the technology. Do we have the technology, do we have the know-how in the country in order to fix this quickly in case, what if something happened tomorrow in a w worst case scenario? Look, we, we are vulnerable. Uh, everyone in the, in the world is vulnerable. The Internet was designed to be flexible and open, not to be stable and secure. And uh, the more things we connect this network to, the more the vulnerability gr goes. So something could happen at any moment. I mean, what's happening right now as you and I speak is someone's identity is being stolen on the Internet and they're losing their money or some business is, is having their funds stolen. So there's activity going on every day. There's not yet been a national calamity, and obviously we hope that, that one doesn't happen soon. But we we have to get get prepared for this, and it's it's excellent that the president is personally focusing on this All issue. All right, you said we have to get prepared for this. So, what do we do? What is the first thing we need to do here? The first thing we need to do is hire the private sector to help us protect the federal networks and systems because our uh, American telecommunications companies are extremely sophisticated and we have not been adequately leveraging them to help protect the federal networks. And we need to start putting more money into efforts in the government that do have cyber payoffs like the great work of the FBI in investigation and, and, and DOJ prosecution, Secret Service. Also, uh, groups like NIST, which develops the standards and technology. Overall, though, Don, the most important thing is we need to evolve the architecture of the Internet itself for security. We can make it more secure. We've got to do the R&D to do that okay. and invest in new protocols. Hey, Rod, Rod, I really have 30 seconds here, and I've got to ask you this, because you remember the blackout back in 2003, right? And we're going yes. to all this sure. digital, digital technology, and when it comes to televisions and everything, the Internet, phones, and what have you, none of it worked during the blackout, I got in touch with a friend because she had an old analog phone. Does this, the advancement in technology actually make us more vulnerable? Don, you are on a, such a good point here. One of the, yes, it does make us more vulnerable, and we need to keep those old networks in place for resilience. The federal government should be supporting the telephone companies to keep the old analog lines there. Why? So that when the Internet goes down and what's called the Internet Protocol goes down, mm -hmm. at least something is working. Yeah. We can't afford to put all of our eggs in one basket here. When there is a storm or something, I, you know, I have uh, digital television. It's not there. Yeah. So there That's right. Go. There you go. Okay. And if we move everything to if we move everything to digital, we'll we'll make things too vulnerable. So we we've got to balance it out and have some different technologies to keep some resilience. Hey, thank you very much, Rod Beckstrom. We appreciate it. Great. Thank you, Don. A title.